let me just give you some advice. This was the advice given to me when I first got into almost six years ago. I don't really know. I literally just started yesterday, so I'm just jumping into this. Wow, nice. All right. Very cool. Well, welcome aboard. Thank you. Yeah. Make sure um, when you have questions, here, let me just give you some advice. This was the advice given to me when I first got into almost six years ago. <clears throat> don't focus too much on the, on the Facebook group right now. Go get lost in that training. Just get lost in it, watch it over and over, um, and then speed build, okay? Get out there, put up your properties, and don't second guess yourself too much, okay? But before you do that, like before you just jump in and, and start spending money and building websites and all the stuff that it's going to teach you how to do, really focus on um, kind of this core it's like a set of glasses You're going to put on this set of glasses and set of lenses and everything that you look at through to be looked at through this set of lenses. Okay. And the lens is it's, it's this idea, this concept Dan talks about a lot of knocking out a third grader. Okay. Uh, a lot of people jump into it with this mindset of like, I'm going to learn SEO. I'm going to learn lead, ge lead generation. I'm going to go and I'm going to take over, you know, whatever it is. Like it could be, HVAC or plumbing or the moving niche or an attorney or whatever. Um, and you kind of get like stuck in your mindset of like, I'm going to do this niche and I'm going to go into this particular city or this kind of city. And that's like, that's a fallacy, right? Right from the get go. It's, it's a, it's a bad mindset. Um, what you should be looking to do is what do I need to do to make money? Not what does what makes me feel good, what um, what makes me happy, uh, like what makes me feel proud. Don't you got to have a lack of humility? Honestly, you really have to have a have a lack of humility when you're going through this and starting out, and just realize like I I'm gonna put all that junk aside, and I'm just gonna follow the train. I'm just gonna do that. So you got to really start at, like when it starts talking to you, when it starts talking to you about trying to dial in and find a niche, like uh, a niche is just like a type of business to, to dial in on, um, you know, it could be a lot of people jump into like carpet cleaning or um, HVAC electricians, you know, back in the day when I first started, it was everybody did limo service. That was our very first niche. I think we, we blew up the limo industry uh, in the United States by like introducing thousands of limo lead sites overnight. It was, it was ridiculous, but um, you want to go after like a niche that there's not a lot of people going after. Uh, a good example I mentioned a few minutes ago was uh, chimney cleaning or chimney sweeps. There's not a lot of people that are going after that. And, you know, um, I don't know if it's too late in the game yet. I mean, we're still, we're, we're early August, um, but there's going to be a lot of people that are going to want their chimney clean before the winter because they're going to want to fire up that fireplace, right? And there's a lot of like, oh, my. hold on, I got to mute somebody. Dave is Dave. Good old Dave Lafferty. Um, there's a lot of cities that are like more kind of older industrial, a lot of brick buildings and stuff where there's a lot of chimneys. And that's, that's an area, like that's a niche that there's not a lot of people to go after. Um, so think of it in terms of like that, like what's a niche like that, right? And, and when you use that as kind of your, your lens, you'll start seeing there's, there's all kinds of niches out there to jump into that are easy to rank in. There's just not a lot of players, okay? So that's, not a lot of that's kind of my best advice for you. Uh, to start off. 